guys, Zello21 here, bringing you guys another Call of Duty World War 2 video, and today I'm going to show you guys how to win more gunfights in Call of Duty World War 2. Now in Call of Duty World War 2, this game is a lot different, from like Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, or even Ghost or Black Ops 2. I'm going back a little bit, because you know, this is our first boots on the ground game in a while. So I'm going to give you guys a couple quick tips and reminders, maybe some refreshers for you guys, to help you guys win more gunfights and have more fun in this game. Because when you're getting killed a lot in this game, it's just, it sucks the fun out of it. When you're killing a lot of people and having a lot of fun, you can do very well, and I hope these tips will help you. But before we get into this, if you could drop a like down below, that would be always greatly appreciated. And anyway, let's get right into this. Now going on to my first tip, and that's going to be aiming down sights around corners. I tell my friends this, I tell everybody I play this, it helps so much. Because if you're sprinting around a corner, you are going. it's going to take longer to ADS in this game. They even told us that. It's going to take us longer to ADS around a corner, no matter what, even with quick draw. So what this means is that if you're going to turn around that corner... You, you can be walking or just completely just slowly peek that and you're gonna have your sights aimed down sight and if you do that around every corner someone runs through it you're gonna have a better chance of killing them than they will do you and if you are peeking that corner sitting there you have a way better chance of killing them this little tip will help anybody out and is very very good it's especially good if you're using like an LMG or an assault rifle that doesn't have as quick as an ADS as like an SMG like the grease gun or the PPSH so these are definitely something you should try now my next tip I'm going to be giving you and that is going to be using a gun that you're comfortable with. If you're using a gun you're not comfortable with, winning gunfights is going to be really, really annoying. And what I mean by a gun you're comfortable with, I mean a gun that you're good with the recoil. Now, recoil, there's different kinds of recoil, vertical, horizontal, just in general the gun just bumps up around or just goes in a circle for God's sake. But you got to know your gun's recoil. This affects gunfights. Now, a really good strategy for going to recoil is going into the firing range, which they have in this game, and just firing at a target and trying to go to multiple targets, sitting there, moving moving your thumbsticks, and trying to hold the recoil as straight as possible. Do that a little quickly for a little bit before you hop into a round, and you'll see not only your kills to deaths increase, which your KD, you'll see you winning a lot more gunfights in general. So this tip is really useful if, you're, if you just want to get in for a practice round or whatever. So definitely try that. And moving on to, you know, recoil, we're going to talk about the aim sensitivity. Now, everyone talks about aim sensitivity. I'm not going to go in detail with it. There's many videos for that. But what I am going to say is that find sensitivity that works for you. Me, I use a 6 to 7 to 5 sensitivity around that area, vertical or horizontal. And there's and everyone's like, oh my god, that's so low. But no, to be honest, a smaller uh, sensitivity can be really, really good for you instead of a really big one. Because for me, I use something called Control Freaks, so I really don't need a really high sensitivity to be able to move my sticks side to side. And to be honest, Control Freaks, if you're going to buy anything gaming-wise and you really don't want to go crazy, Control Freaks are great. They're like only like 15 10 bucks, very, very, pretty cheap, and they go right on your controllers. And they'll help you aim a lot easier. So when you move your stick, it's just a little bit of a turn, which is really good. And with the right sensitivity, it can be deadly. And honestly, no other tip is going to be better than just practice with the sticks. A good person with the sticks is a deadly person on this game. It can drop whatever. So if you can get comfortable moving the sticks around with or without control, with the right sensitivity, doesn't matter what gun you're using, whatever, you're going to win gunfights. And that's just the way it is. Now, moving on to the last few tips here. My tip is going to be using the gun to its own abilities. For what I mean like this. Don't try to kill a guy with a sniper if you have a shotgun. It's not going to make sense unless you're right next to him. So use your gun to its strengths and weaknesses. Assault rifles, like a fast firing assault rifle, is going to be pretty good pretty much everywhere. It's a good metal ground if you're just trying to learn the game or just trying to get your KD up a little bit. I suggest good assault rifles like the STG, the BAR, or even the FG42. Those are my favorite assault rifles in that class. And then with the SMGs, that's close range to medium range sometimes. And if you really want to go medium range, use the grease gun, the PPSH, and the MP40. And sometimes the Type 100, depending on what you're playing. But those guns right there are great for this. But use your guns to its weaknesses and strengths. It just not only helps you out, it helps your teammates out, in my opinion. Because then they're not trying to kill. Because if you see a teammate running with a shotgun, obviously if you see that guy first, don't let them die. Just help him out and shoot him because he's not going to be able to get to him in time. It's this kind of thing. Like, a great example of this, if you're using a shovel. If you're using a shovel, you're not going to go to the guy with a sniper from across the map. You have to go really quietly and around trying to get behind them. Or just get them by surprise and kill them. So using your weapons to their strengths helps you in every situation there and is very, very useful. Now, kind of going off that for one of my last tips here, and that's going to be positioning. Positioning in this game and using your minimap, that, there we go, that's the big one right there, the minimap, helps you the most. Let's just start off with the minimap. The minimap is the most important tool in COD. If you don't use your minimap, unless you're playing hardcore, the minimap, if you're not using it, you're going to die. The minimap is the most it's, it's, it's your best friend, okay? Treat your best friend with some respect, you know? Without this, 
you're gonna die all the time. And counter UAVs and UAVs, that's why counter UAVs are so annoying. Because without it, you're not gonna be able to see anything, and that's why the mountain class is sometimes overpowered. But you know what? That's a story for a different day. But basically, what you're gonna wanna do is look at your minimap all the time. When I'm playing, I'm looking at the minimap 60, 70% of the time. That's just how it works. So I know how to make my next move. And that leads to positioning, where if you're positioning yourself right with the minimap, or in general around corners, or anything else in general in the, in a game, like a box or a head glitch, it's going to help you dramatically. Let's say you're trying to approach and you know there's a door there. Like there's a door there, you know what I'm saying? There's a nice little door there. And there's a barrel right there. Obviously, you're not going to run away from the barrel and leave your whole body exposed to shoot at the guy. Go behind the barrel and shoot him. If you see the guy from the mini-map, you can maybe even go prone and wait him out. All these different ways of positioning yourself can help you either win a gunfight, lose a gunfight, blah, 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 blah. It's very, very useful. And now... Leading on to my very last tip, and that's going to be map knowledge. Map knowledge is a really general tip, but it's basically playing the game a lot and knowing spawns, choke points, where people like to go, and knowing the team you're playing. And it's so easy to do this. Hop on every map you play, play it for, play the game for a little while, and you'll start to realize, okay, people like to go in, I'm going to give an example, USS Texas. Snipers, if you're playing hard point, or just in general, like to sit on the sides of the map, and then the two crew towers there, and like to shoot at people. SMG and the sorry for players like to run around in the middle of the ship or on the high parts and try to control it. So I know as a player, I want to go in the middle of the ship, run back and forth in there. I like to hold the middle ship in the game. I don't like to sit on the outsides. And that's where I like to play because I know there's some good choke points in there. A lot of action, lots of kills, a lot of fun, high KD. So hopefully that will help you out and hopefully these tips will make you guys better players. Help you guys win more gunfights in Call of Duty War 2. If you did enjoy this video, again, it would be awesome if you could drop a like and comment what other videos you want to see. I would be happy to make it for you guys and maybe even subscribe for more COD content. COD content on this channel is going to be is coming really, really good. And I'm really thankful for you guys. A lot of support in the last few videos as well as a bunch of new subscribers. So I love you guys for that. So yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.